Asia region and the Australia region going head to head. And the Aussies here look like they might be set to not only make some noise at the regionals, but also at the CrossFit Games. Rob Forte has kind of had the Australia region on lockdown the past couple of years. Different format, but can he now make it three in a row? And two other men to watch here include the men that joined Rob at the CrossFit Games last year. That's Brandon Swan and then Con Porter as well. So a lot of anticipation at the moment from the crowd, waiting for these top athletes to come out. Feeling awesome. We haven't done anything yet, so body's fresh. It's a good quick little long bird to get started. So it's good to uh, get something out of the way. Simple movement, lots of reps. Least favorite one of the weekend, but I think I'll just go till I can't hold on, and then from there, just whatever goes. Try and get through it as quick as I can. Looking forward to Randy. Um, yeah, gonna go out with a bang and try and set myself up for a big weekend. 75 snatches at 75 pounds. It's gonna be quick. I think uh, everyone's in the same boat though. They just wanna rip through it. We'll see who goes the fastest. Ten seconds. This is a much faster heat than the last. You can see that already. They're moving the barbell a lot quicker, pulling it down. We're at 2 minutes 20. The arms are in the air. Can't put up. Here we go. I think Chuck he's... McKay as well. Four reps to go. This is going to come down to the sprint. We have got five athletes across the field. Gonna go. Can't put up. Ben Garab, they're both trying to sprint and their legs aren't working. And it looks like it's going to be a dead heat. Rob Forte and Dean Linda Layton. I think I won it. Only because Benny got a no rep. I don't know what happened there, but yeah, it was pretty close. I think I got it in the end though. So, see where that places me. Controversy kit. Ben, what happened? Dude, 10 8 7 last set. But apparently, I had one to go. So, what happened? You kind of won, but then you had to go back? Yeah, she said um, I did 10 8 7. And then saw the hand go down, but then she reckons I only had one left, so I had to come back and finish. So just getting a review now, see what happens. It appeared, as, you know, as we were calling it, that it was an extremely close finish between Ben and Con Porter, and they both sprinted to the finish line. I thought it was going to be really close. What ended up resulting was it looked like he, Ben had one rep left and didn't realize it until he got past the finish line. He was hanging out there for 30 seconds before his judge called him back. So he had to run back to one more rep and then sprint back to the finish line. A lot of CrossFitters and me, I want to see is Kara Webb healthy? And if so, what can he help Kara Webb do? Because we didn't really get to see that last year. Kara Webb in the center of screen just then. I know everybody in the stadium is excited to see what Kara is going to pull out of the bag. It's really a race for second, isn't it? Just Here she Cara. goes, the crowd is going, but none is here for Kara Webb. And she's smiling. What a great competitor. Big smile on her oh. face. She's loving it here. I like getting that first one, you know, getting it going. I just wanted to I kind of just wanted to get it started, you know. I feel like I've been waiting for a long time. And um, especially like after last year with the games, the sort of the feeling that I had was like, I guess a sense of not being finished. And um, you know, if I, if I had a finished 31st and that was all the workouts, I would've been quite okay. But I've kind of had this sense of being unfinished for, you know, that whole time now. So I was really excited to, um, to get in and get amongst it and be back here again. <laughs> Five will have to do, won't it? It's the best idea, so that's that. You don't seem happy about it? Like, look, you know, like you always want more, but I mean, I can't be uh, disappointed. Like, I thought I would have gone faster, but I didn't. And uh, I gave my best, so like, you can't be disappointed. Uh, but you can still want what you want. Do you think you could beat Kara? Um, look, you know, it'd be, it'd be lovely to end up on, on top again. Um, but, you know, there's, uh, I guess we'll, we'll just see how the weekend plays out. Who are the athletes that you're, you're watching? Danae. She's one of my favorites. <laughs> and uh, Kara. And um, Porter Khan. For the guys. And um, Rob Forte. Chad McKay. I like those guys. Really, when I come to a region like this, that's 
I'm not real familiar, familiar with all the competitors. It's a lot of the former games athletes who I cheer for and notice. In the female top, Cara Webb will be on top of the leaderboard at the end of day one. Uh, today Brown will be there as well, but a few other names to look out for. I think an American's called Stephanie Ortiz and a girl called uh, Alethea Boone, who's been part of Arden Schwartz's team for the past few years, going individual this year. In the men's half, Rob Forte, I think he'll be on top of the leaderboard. But the usual suspects, mate, Khan Porter, Chad McKay, Brandon Swan, and James Newbury. So the mid top, Cara Webb. Is she going to go faster than Anna Tunnicliffe's 8 minutes 24? Tanae, right at screen at the moment, getting off to a very good start. Most thrust is a very, very fast one. I'm surprised she's going out this fast. We said earlier the key is not the thrusters in this workout. The key comes down to the rope line. So Tanae taking out the regional last year over Cara. So Stephanie Ortiz, she did very well at last year's regional. She's also looking for one of those top five qualifying spots. Cara Webb, where have you come from We missed? Cara Webb looks as though she has got the event record in eight minutes and 17 seconds. Rob Forte, he's at the top of the leaderboard again. Mr. Consistency, as always. And here's a guy who really wants to push for one of those spots, Dean Linda Layton. Ben Garrard, there was a bit of a slip up. In the previous event, bit of miscommunication with his judge. And Brandon Swan wanting to assert himself at the top again. Brandon needs to really crawl back a bit. He's down at 21st place after event one. I'd like to see him place a little higher in this event. Rob Forte has come down. And he's done. Ropes just around his leg a little bit. Crowd is cheering for Rob. And very composed at the finish line as well. So Khan Porter. Finishing now an official time of 9.32. So Brandon, probably not the start he wanted, but we know he is a fighter. It's funny what happened. Pass the tight. Hard work out. Long weekend. And day one is in the books here at the 2015 Reebok CrossFit Games Pacific Regional. We will see you all back here bright and early tomorrow. Lane 7. Stand by camera 1. Lane 1. 2.35 coming in lane 7. And now, folks, we are back in Wollongong for day 2 of the Pacific Regional. Our individuals will complete one mile run on the True Form Runner. 50 overhead squats. They'll then head to the GHD machine for 100 sit-ups. 150 double unders. 50 sumo deadlift high pulls and close it out the icing on the cake 100 box jump overs. Day two is not my favorite day. Uh, let's hold on. Sitting down in 25th position at the moment on the leaderboard, which is something I'm not accustomed to. Uh, I have been down low on the leaderboard before though, and uh, so for me it's it's very much a, uh, a day of fighting back and digging in the heels and, and, and clawing my way back up the leaderboard. Last time I saw you, you were going to put in a uh, protest, like, what, what, what became of that? Yeah, um, after the first event, I put in a, an appeals process just to get my uh, workout reviewed. Um, yeah, they did all that. Um, they had the official scorecard and everything. Uh, they came back with the decision and um, nothing's going to change. So whatever my um, chip time was for the second time after I touched the mat, that's going to stand as my score. And yeah, man, just got to just move on and focus on what's to come and day two, yeah. happy with where you're sitting there? Uh, I'm surprised. I'm still new to this whole thing, two years in, so... Uh, where I am right now is just a bonus. I've actually taken two weeks to recover from the GHD sit-ups. Like, I think I was almost put myself in hospital with Rabdo. I think I really dodged a bullet there. So, um, but I'm recovered. Um, I'm going to be strong. Like, I, I would expect, a, you know, I would expect a top five out of this workout. It's got to make a move. Yeah. Sitting in uh, fifth, so I want to make uh, sure I secure that ticket to Carson. So I think I need to... Um, yeah, definitely have some good wins today and tomorrow. The crowd is screaming. Absolutely electric here. And she's responding for us. Oh, her. yes, the guy. <laughs> Event record. Yara Webb is done. She's over unofficial time, 25.40. Oh, she is fans as well. That you don't see Cara do that very often. You so don't see that at all. Amanda uh, Allen will take third. That crowd is absolutely electric here at Wynn Stadium. Go, go, Riley. You need to finish. Yes, buddy. Go get it. Yes, Matt Riley. I'm
was unsure actually how it was going to go with the run. First time I've been on the true form before, so I had, um, had a bit of practice with it. Tried to stay at a nice set uh, around about 8-ish pace. Since some of the guys got a bit quicker, so I was a bit paranoid, but everything kind of felt good after that, hey? Oh, it was horrible, but I liked it. <laughs> Came back there? Yeah, it was what I needed. I hurt real bad then. A couple of things in there I haven't done in a while, and um, I just pushed really hard. I just went really hard, just tried to hurt, and it hurt. So I got what I was looking for. Uh, my, my real goal was I wanted to finish it. Like, I just took that as a pretty cool challenge. Like, you know, no one's sort of finishing it. And yeah, I thought they had set this cut off as 26. Some people have finished it, so why can't I? It just, I just had to dig real deep and go to a bad place. And that was, that was my everything, that's for sure. Making moves, hopefully. Tied for third in the heat. So yeah, feeling good. Oh, I'm going to recover pretty quick for the uh, snatch in the handstand. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Event four and event five thrown into one, but still 200 points total up for grabs. Starting off with a 250-foot handstand walk for time. After that, the athletes will transition to their barbells and with two attempts, try to establish their one rep max snatch. Carol Webb, 176. This is well below her listed one rep max. said that pretty much they're chasing you all weekend. Um, how does it feel to be the one that everyone is kind of chasing after? To be honest, I don't really think of that. They told me to the snatch, you saw you hold up some weights and then um, it looked yeah. like Brian pulled you back a bit. Yeah, we, um, I was a bit cheeky. I kind of just did just enough to be on top. Um, I can lift more than that, but there was no need. I've got to keep in mind that I'm competing against these girls for now. And, um, you know, the more I can kind of save myself and, you know, come out of this weekend healthy, then I've got, hopefully, qualifying. I've got, so I've like, you know, lost more weeks and get myself in a really good position for the games. How do you like the events tomorrow? Yeah, good. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, yeah, so looking forward to them. Um, you know, hopefully, I'm just gonna make sure I do well. <laughs> <laughs> just don't stuff up. <laughs> is going to come down to this final day in Australia. We talked about day two historically being moving day, but there's still a little shaking up that's going to go on the leaderboard given events six and seven on day three. Start on the men's side of things where yesterday we saw some huge jumps up the leaderboard. A couple guys getting into the top five, namely Brandon Swan, Swan and Chad McKay. Rob Forte is running away with this. He's pretty much clear. Con Porter solidly in second place, but just 20 points separate third from second. 
It's going to be between Khan and uh, Rob. Uh, Rob will be very hard to knock off. I think a lot of that will come down to how Rob performs. If I perform to the best of my ability today, yeah, I can hold off Brandon. But uh, catching Rob will be pretty tough. I know that last event's a really good one for me, so this first one I'm just going to take a bit of a risk, try and push the pace and see if I can hold on. Even if I was in 40th position, coming in the last day, my attitude and effort is still going to be the same. I went from 25th to 3rd yesterday in three events, so I think that pretty much speaks for itself. Anything can happen. Anyone's game really depends how these, these ones hold out and how fast everyone can sprint for that last workout, so it's going to come down to why for sure. I'm going to have to absolutely, well pretty much perform a miracle really, um, I'm going to have to just do something that I haven't done in training. They're over on the women's side. Things are a little more clear, but we still have not painted the full picture. Carl Webb, though, is clearly far and away going to qualify for the game. Good luck getting her out of first place. 35 points that separate second from seventh, and then Sammy Wood sitting there in sixth place, just two points behind. Danae Brown. The events today I'm really looking forward to, especially for both of them, but I love handstand push-ups and just a blast. There's two more events, so you never know, anything could change. Didn't think I'd be sitting as high as what I am, stoked, I guess. A uh, bit of gymnastics, good day. <laughs> Event six, five rounds for time, a 25 calorie row. 16 chest bar pull-ups and nine strict deficit handstand push-ups. Jeremy, our two leading men heading into this event, Rob Fortan Kampoor at neck and neck and just chasing Dean Linda Lake. And Dean Linda Lake, great result from you, buddy. Here goes Kampoor. Here comes Rob now. Big Chad McKay. What's that going to do for his results? Brandon a little bit disappointed after such a great day yesterday. Win the events, win your heats or don't show up. Like I didn't come to place in the top 10, I can't even go to the games. The crowd here is on their feet cheering very loud for that lady in top position, Cara Webb, Alethea Boone, Tia Claire Toomey are trying to catch this lady on screen to Nate Brown. Alethea Boone, hats off to you. Wow, what a great comeback. Janae Brown raced with Tia Claire Toomey and only a couple of seconds between them. Stick to my own game plan, do exactly what I did at training and it paid off. Yeah, the final event's going to be a dogfight. There's going to be seconds between the top guys and it's going to come down 100% to who just wants it the most and who's willing to hurt the most for it. Who's willing to be the bravest as well and just rip that bar? I'm Jack and I'm ready. I want to do it. I got this like cold rush of adrenaline that I'm ready to use up. I'm nervous as hell, but I know that all I can do is control what I can control and whatever the outcome is, so be it. No, I'm not nervous. Just focused. Just belief. Just belief, knowing that I've been here before. I mean, I practiced it well, and as long as I do what I practice, then I should do quite well. I'm coming sixth, nine points out. How bad do you want this right now? Uh, more than ever. It'll be the uh, the most special of any trip I've done to the games. I really want to go. I've been to regionals twice. I've come ninth and 17th. I don't care if I come between 20 and 6. For me, it's all about trying to get into that top five. So. I'm going to attack this workout, leave nothing, you know, nothing in the tank. I mean, I'm going to push, I'm going to give it absolute, I'm not leaving anything out on the floor, I'm, I'm giving it everything. In I think I want it more than anyone else here. Um, Rob, Khan, Brandon, it's Khan's second time back, Rob and Brandon have gone multiple times. You know, I, I thought I was ready to go last year physically, I had some bad luck, all that sort of stuff. Um, it's been a whole nother year of just, you know, I didn't go to the States to try and do grid. I didn't go to Waterpalooza or anything. I just had my eye on this and qualifying and I sort of moved my whole life. I moved States to take a better job that was allowed me to train more. So it's all being directed to this very moment. I'm gonna make everything that I've done and all the people that have backed me, all the time spent away from Sarah, my daughter, <laughs> it all comes down to this moment, so yeah, I just gotta, you know, put it all out there and um, 
Yeah, just make it count. Oh, dude, I'm like so fired up. I'm just trying to control my adrenaline. Like I know I can win this workout. It's just a matter of whether I make a mistake and I'm just got to try and stay calm, execute my reps. Um, yeah, this is my jam and I plan on finishing the weekend strong. Talk to me where you're sitting on the leaderboard. Uh, I'm coming 10th at the moment, 26 points out of fifth. So yeah, never give up, never count yourself out. And um, yeah, see what happens, bro. It's a very dramatic finish for weekend, <laughs> I mean, of course. Nah, man, wouldn't have it any other way, huh? Vet number seven, 15 muscle ups, five squat cleans, it's an incrementing ladder. Chad's got three to go. He's in the blue short, center of screen. Ben Garrard's got one to go. He's done. Ben Garrard's first off wow. center. So is Kevin Manuel. Oh, ben, ben Garrard, if he takes the win, this will see him in the top five. He gets 100 points here. Ben Garrard last Oh my final. goodness. This is a ridiculous time. He's got it. Wow. And a new big record. Ben, ben Garrard, 117. Jeremy. Are you not entertained? Chad McKay, blue shorts on screen, finishing very well in 128. There we go, Rob finishes his effort. Oh, this is going to be a crazy finish. Oh, Brandon, you can see the look on his face. But Kara. Kara went plowing ahead, Olympia Boone turned right down. Tia Tlantini is sprinting. Is Tia Tlantini going to get there? This last bar, 175 pounds, lightweight for Kara. She'll stand it up. Kara, where do you take the win? Tia Tlantini for second position. She's going to the games. Stealing her spot. Let's look for Alethea Boone. Alethea, great job. She's also going to the games. 70 on tears. Oh, just bailing in the white, just at the top of the screen. Sammy Wood, you need this lift. Oh, she's got it. She's got it.